My name is Raki. I'm a, farm, a senior prescribing advisor at um, Birmingham and Solihull CCG, and this is Rabia Ahmed. Um, she's a um, one of the lecturers at Aston University. So we have um, collaborated um, with the AMR in Schools project, which has been in three phases. Um, we've completed the first phase, which was a poster competition for children across Birmingham. Uh, the second phase, which was um, work within the World Antibiotic Awareness Week, where we had multidisciplinary um, work going on in GP practices, the university, and in hospitals. And we also invited the winners to the um, to the event. And uh, the final project, the final part of the fa uh, project is phase three, where we've got. Um, where we're piloting interactive assemblies within the schools um, and we're now pretty much at rollout phase so it's quite exciting. Uh, we've collaborated with um, multiple professions so um, UH, University Hospitals Birmingham, um, Public Health at the City Council, Antibiotic Guardian um, uh, as well as obviously the CCG and the university. The key challenges for us were probably the initial engagement from schools but however once we have got our foot in the door we have found they're quite proactive and want to um, get us in more. Um, and the achievements for us was well we've successfully completed phase one of, uh, of the project where we've had two winners one from primary school and one from secondary school and phase two again we've had a successful um, collaboration with multiple multidisciplinary team with, um, within hospital uh, GP practices and uh, within the university with students and phase three I think that we pretty much refined our um, our presentation to go out to go out and uh, for us the university students to be able to deliver deliver the um, and able to sustain the work workforce because obviously within the NHS it's really difficult to do that. Uh, so that shares some of the huge words. How does it feel to be shortlisted for the Antibiotic Guardian Awards? Um, to be shortlisted for the Antibiotic Guardian Awards, I have to say I'm really excited. Um, it's such a privilege to be shortlisted and it's so great to be shortlisted in such, with such collaboration within, our, within this project.